Hey YouTube, mine in here. Last time I left you guys, well, I guess the last time I was on Kirby and telling you about my less than stable mental state. But last time on Pokemon Fire at Nuzlocke, I left you with the question, where was I going to go, Bill or Misty? Well, neither. I realized after that that everyone was kind of mostly dead. So, Pokemon Center, that was the answer. We. Anyway, I kind of got the controller to work, sort of, except it really kind of sucks. But, you know, baby steps. So, I decided that I am going to go with Bill first. And, as I'm not yet at 100% mentally, we may get someone to die today. Exciting. Depressing. And it'd be all my fault. So. Um. If you guys haven't heard yet. And you probably have. Especially since Plusle kind of did a video about it already. And Plusle stuff seems more popular than my stuff. Um. You're probably aware by now that there are two new Mega Evolutions that were accidentally leaked from Korea. One of which is Mega um, Slowbro. And it kind of looks like this, the uh, shelter on its tail decided it was in charge from now on. And proceeded to consume the rest of the body. Seriously, between their tails being sold and shelters clamping onto it, does does Slowpoke really taste that good or something? Anyway, the other one, which is a little more interesting, is uh, Audino. And what's interesting about Audino is that... and Plus, I'll actually pointed this one out to me. In the screenshots with it, there's no Mega symbol. Like, when you look at a picture of, say, Mega Sableye, or really whenever you Mega Evolve anyone, there's that little symbol next to the name and gender in between that and the uh, level. And there was no symbol for Audino. So, I mean, is this not a Mega Evolution? Is this something else? Because I checked the, uh, whatever you call Korean letters, and it's the same as the, like, it's the same spelling of Audino. So it's not like it's an evolution or something. But, you know, with all the stuff with Pikachu, maybe this is an Audino outfit. And rather than a new move it gives it a new type or maybe it's something else entirely that we've just never seen before maybe Audino has secretly been ancient primal Pokemon and this is its primal form and despite looking far cuddlier which I didn't even think was possible with Audino it's actually ridiculously powerful and uh, I don't know, destroys the world somehow. Now, that would be interesting. The first Generation 5 Mega Evolution, and it's not a Mega Evolution, and it destroys the world. But, seriously, like, it's kind of weird, and it might have just been... I don't know, it might just be an oversight or a glitch, and maybe we're reading too much into it. But, it's interesting to point out all the same. I mean, maybe, maybe Plusle caught something that is just bigger than it really seems. Maybe this is some future thing that we're not supposed to know about yet. And I don't know. Maybe Audino is going to be the first of some line of super mega Pokemon that permanently mega evolve and then get other mega evolutions for the mega evolution. Or 
maybe it's nothing. But either way, it gave me something to talk about, and I've hit the five-minute mark, so... You know, that, that that's really all I can ask for. Meanwhile, Kerp is racking up the levels. Doing nothing, racking up all the levels. So, uh... Yeah... I, so I did that video with the Amazing Mirror, just trying to figure out how to make myself mentally not, well, unstable anymore. Um, and I don't know, I, I think it was a good idle game. I think I probably need to find the right place to put my mic. I may have to re-record this entire session because I've once again probably put my mic in the wrong spot. But... I don't know. I'll, I'll figure this one out eventually. And just like that, I, I've run out of things to talk about again. But it was a good, what, six and a half minute run of me talking? So... You know, baby steps. I don't know, I was on the topic of Mega Evolution, why don't I just roll with that? So, I am really looking forward to the next big uh, Koro Koro leak. I have been just really hoping for some specific Megas from Gen 3. Like, there are a lot of Pokemon from that generation that are just underloved and have weird stats that are good, but just because of the weird combination of them is unusable. Like, for example, Cacturn. Cacturn has really, really good attack and special attack. And it even has decent HP, but its speed defense and special defense are so bad that there's really no, like, competitive niche for it. And so... Seriously? Seriously? Critical hit? Uh, you know what, this is a sign. Mega Slowbro is going to be the bane of my existence. I guarantee you that. It's going to be one of those horrible walls that everyone has, and for some reason I always lack the counter to. This is the sign. This is the sign that that's going to happen. Anyway, um... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, uh, Cacturn. Cacturn. Yeah, it's got great attack, and special attack, and HP, and the other stats are really, really bad, which ends up giving it, like, all this potential and no staying power, which really sucks. Also, Gone to Dying sucks, but, like, there are a couple other Pokemon from that generation like that, like, um, Shiftry. Shiftry has weird stats that make it too slow to be a sweeper, but not bulky enough to be a wall of any kind. It's just, it's hard to find its little niche in the world. Um, uh, is that eight or nine? I'm, I'm at nine and a half minutes. So I guess I'm wrapping it up here about halfway down this route. that That's a good place to stop. I talked pretty well, I guess. I don't know. Uh, hopefully I can get back in the swing of things and not, not be crazy. So, like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 and definitely check out Plusle's videos because she's been doing some new stuff. She started a Nuzlocke and she needs some love and support on that. So, uh, 
you know, thanks for watching and everything, guys. And uh, see you later.